from MMCentral.com. I am Austin Hannon alongside Katie Windham and Joey Blackwell. Guys, we're here at the Caesar Superdome where Alabama just took down Kansas State 45-20 to in the All-State Sugar Bowl. Katie, I'll start with you. Obviously a big win going into next year. What were your biggest takeaways for the Crimson Tide's big win today? I think my biggest takeaway is that Alabama looks like Alabama teams we've seen in the past. These are the type of dominating wins that Alabama used to have in these type games on the road and in and, and neutral site settings when fans can have something to get excited about. And we just really haven't seen that the last couple of years. You know, they felt, obviously fell behind early, which Shoei wrote about, and I'll let him talk about a little bit more. Um, then we really, you know, kind of saw them, um, you know, turn on the gas and never look back. And it was kind of a dominating performance against the Big 12 champion, which, you know, as we're filming this, the TCU Michigan game is heading into the fourth quarter, so we still don't know who won that game. But this Kansas State team beat that TCU team that could, you know, <laughs> Last time we saw was beating Michigan, they could end up in the national championship game. So I think it once again showed that this team, if they played up to their full potential off season, um, obviously is one of the best teams in the country. Probably is the only team left out there um, that could give Georgia a real shot. I say that, and then Ohio State in a couple of hours will probably beat them. <laughs> but um, I, I think we saw Alabama being Alabama. And will this team look the same next year? Absolutely not. You know, you're losing some. Obviously, this isn't a franchise like the NFL, but I, I feel like you could say with guys like Bryson Will, franchise players, even you know older guys like Henry, DJ Dale, Jordan Battle, and some of the wide receivers, it's going to be a very different team. But I think there are lots of, a lot of positive things you can build on and heading Brian into Branch. next year. Yeah. Like, he said he hasn't made a decision yet, but I don't know why he wanted to go with them. So. Yeah, you know, and for me, uh, I think you know, I think the point that Katie made was exactly what I was thinking. That we finally saw Alabama be Alabama. And that's something that's been lacking pretty much over the course of the entire season. We saw little glimpses of it here and there, but never really for full 60 minutes in a game. And I think that's a really good sign moving forward. You know, Nick Saban was talking about after the game about how he's been pleased with his team pretty much from the moment they found out they were in the Sugar Bowl. He knew that the guys were going to be coming back, no off doubts. The team played with character, not only played with character, they practiced with character. They took a very they took a very serious approach to this game. And I know when Alabama fans. From, you know, you know when they found out they were going to the Sugar Bowl, the gut react, the knee jerk reaction was not positive because people still think back to that Utah game, you know, that Sugar Bowl and how the Oklahoma game, the Oklahoma game, you know, how Alabama wasn't prepared. It was kind of a comp game, a letdown, a game. letdown game, and Alabama did absolutely the reverse and really performed well on both sides of the football. Yes, they were down ten nothing early, but Deuce Vaughn's eighty eight yard touchdown run, which is by the way the second largest and longest in Sugar Bowl history, the longest of the Nick Saban era. They really didn't let that get them down. Instead, they bounced back. And this team showed poise. It showed resiliency. It showed everything that we've come to know about Nick Saban coach football teams. And I think that sets a really sets Alabama up really for a lot of success next year if they're able to carry over the mentality and with that mentality for success that comes with it. Yep. Alabama football season has come to a close at midnight tonight. 2022 will do the same. <laughs> but in 2023, Bama Central's coverage will continue with men's basketball on Tuesday night against Ole Miss. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.